Go on and Piccolo continue training. Then one day. Go on. The sky turned dark and suddenly. Piccolo the dragon. Goku's back. That must mean. <coughs> the Saiyans are arriving early. Go on. No, Piccolo says. Go on. This is the final lesson. Hey, so we're using the Visual Boy Advance emulator now. I fixed the issue with, with the windowed mode. And I've increased the quality of the emulator. Uh, the graphics are better now than on the other RetroArch emulator. And I've uh, connected it to the PlayStation 4 controller and configured the controller for the emulator. So this emulator has better graphics, so that's why I'm using it instead. The, the quality is better, the colors are stronger and such. And uh, I played up until the same spot where I were previously, so in the other uh, on the other emulator I managed to activate a save game that had every card and every character unlocked that I wanted to use, but I couldn't get it to work on the Visual Boy Advance. So we have no choice but to play from the start of the game. I've already played the stuff I played in the previous episode using the RetroArch emulator, so all the, the tutorial stuff with Piccolo has been done. We are at the battle now and about to fight the battle. We have Gohan as the only character. His limits are Continued Kick and Masenko. This is the beam attack. We have details here. He is level 1, life 80, strength 7, key which is mana in Dragon Ball or energy 12, speed 6, experience 0. Uh, they can maximum, uh, the maximum level they can, can level up to is level 4 or 5. I believe 5 is the maximum, but it's very difficult to reach that level. So 4 is the, the normal maximum that you would reach. In the same game that, that I have on the other emulator, I believe that they are level 4, and it's still difficult the game. So this game might be too difficult for my taste. Okay. Uh, so, deck, we have uh, Masenko energy wave, two energy bombs, Kamaha, continued punch, continued kick, continued kick, stage attack, Ulma Shotsu, full spirit, rock wave, avoiding endurance, foresight, reading key, etc. etc. List. Here are the lists of all the attacks. Sucks if we do not have that save. Le uh, but let's save the game here. Okay. No, we can exit. All right, the battle starts. Player and versus enemy battle. Go on versus Piccolo. Okay, Piccolo says you can see everyone's position on this screen. We're in the back right now. Let's begin. Hit me with your full power. Yeah, the, the colors are much more bright now, and, and the quality is better. So I suggest using the Visual Boy Advance if, if you want better graphics in Game Boy Color, Game Boy, and Game Boy Advance games. However, the RetroArch emulator, it was easier to, to, to make it compatible with saves from the internet. I used to rename the .save files to, to .srm files. But first I needed to change one thing in options, settings, where I uh, disabled, I believe, compression of save states, otherwise it wouldn't work. But with the Visual Boy Advance, I failed to replace the save, even when I deleted the save made in this emulator and renamed the new save, same thing, still only recognized the old save, it wasn't deleted for some reason, so it's backed up somewhere else. It's very weird. I had hoped I could uh, load a save game with every character and every card and just play with a maximum leveled character because you can restart the story mode with, with any character then. And I prefer having good characters over sucky characters when the game is hard as it is. <coughs> okay. Let's uh, use gather power. Guns attack, gather power. Pickles guard moment. Alright, defense face. Just use guard. Pickles attack. Three stage attack.
Go and scored, squared off. Alright, turn change. Attack face. Turn 2. Card left 16, now 15. Okay. Shows his speed down. Reading key accuracy up. We'll go for reading key accuracy up. Go and attack reading key. Pickles guard moment. Reading key accuracy up. Defense face. Okay. So yeah, guard against damage. Damage guard. Pickles attack. Three stage attack. So this is a Game Boy Color game. The Game Boy Color was a portable Nintendo 8-bit system pretty much. So portable NES. <coughs> the Game Boy a black and white system released in 1989. The Game Boy Color released in 1998 and was uh, in color unlike the Game Boy. But it also had a better bitrate I believe. I believe it's stronger than the Nintendo 8-bit system from 1986 but weaker than the Super Nintendo or SNES system, 16-bit. Game Boy Advance, I believe, is a portable SNES system, but it has 32-bit, so it's, it's stronger than the Super Nintendo. But many of the games for the Game Boy Advance were weaker looking than the Super Nintendo. They, they made the games worse, uh, even though the system was stronger. Okay, uh, so... can use continued kick. How? Let's we'll see if we will fail here. No, we won't. Pickles guard squared off. We will do the attacks without us needing to pressure the buttons, so that's good. We had a good start, but I believe he will be able to change stuff with the help of the special beam cannon. Pickles attack, three stage attack. Because the super beam attacks, they take a lot of damage in this game. The AI is good. Go and scar squared off. Alright. Thirteen cards left. Okay. Three stage POV. Succeeded. Pressing the circle XX buttons on the PS4 controller. Didn't take a lot of damage, the physical attack. But at least we didn't miss. Let's use guard. Pickles attack, gather power. Go and guard squared off. This game is really nice looking Shibi sprites. For a Game Boy Color game, I believe the NES games and the SNES games looked more um, realistic. They weren't chibi, which I would have preferred, but in, in the SNES and NES games, I believe the SNES game was a remake of the first two NES games for the Super Nintendo. It had better graphics, but only had Saiyan Saga and then a Mechian Saga. Well, the, Super, uh, the NES games were, first game were the Saiyan Saga and uh, Second game with the Frieza Saga, and and then and they received a remake on the SNES, which were both in in one game uh, with better graphics. So if you wanna play the first two, you should play the remake on the Super Nintendo. But uh, if you want to play the third or fourth games, you need to play them on the NES. They were never remade. Uh, the third game is the Android Saga. It starts at the end of the battle with Frieza with Super Saiyan Goku against Frieza. And uh, it uh, continues until you fight off against Cell. I believe only Piccolo's fight it. The first form of Cell is included. Okay. Um, scatter power. Okay, shouts the speed down. Energy bomb. POV will use that. Let's throw it. Uh, okay, and then there is a fourth game for the NES uh, that was based on a movie. Plan to eradicate the Saiyans. 
but the, but the Boo Saga was never created in, in a role playing game uh, until this game for the Game Boy Color. And this game, unlike the others, had chibi characters instead of, uh, um, you know, manga accurate looking ones. But still, uh, this one had more characters playable. In the NES and SNES games, you could only play as the heroes, the sea fighters. In this game, you can play as everyone. Okay. Let's use um, movement and beam guard. Piccolo's attack, sonic kick. Ah, oh, fuck, he, he did a physical attack. Go on, guard moment. Okay, he took a lot of damage and is leading. Turn change. Attack face. Okay, that's not good. Let's use Masenko. Throw a Kamamaha. Go on, attack Masenko. Come on now, go on. Pickle guard movement. Oh, we've almost won. Awesome. It's my first time winning in this game if I win. We shouldn't take at the victory yet. Let's use state. We need to guard. Okay. Special beam cannon. Fuck you, Piccolo! I just needed to hit him once more. But he will win now. That attack takes a lot of damage. Fuck him. So the AI can feel when they are about to lose and then they do their special attacks. Let's try again. Exit. One versus Piccolo again. Battle. I had never gotten that close to winning before. You can see everyone's position on this screen. We're in the back right now. Let's begin. Hit me with your full power. Piccolo said that to Gohan. Son Gohan. Okay. Son of Son Goku, the main character. The show and anime and manga. Okay, let's use um, gather power. Go and stack gather power. Piccolo's guard Chatsu go and dodged. Alright. This means I can play that other hack of Pokemon uh, Fire Red, I believe. The Dragon Ball. C um, team training a version 8 hack uh, I can save using this emulator not the other one so I played for 1 hour 30 minutes in that uh, game but in, a, in an older version I believe version 6 they have version 8 now from 2020 in August so I will restart the game there it still had some Pokemon songs and, st and such but uh, it should be more completed than the other one it had the uh, Dragon Ball music in the menu but not in the main game Okay, but still it's a cool hack. We will play at least one episode in the version 8 release from 2020. The latest one, I believe it has over 200 Dragon Ball characters. Okay, this game of, uh, of course is not a hack. This is an official game. Released for the Game Boy Color and earlier system. The game is from the same year as Pokemon Fire Red, on which the... no same year as Pokemon Rubber and Sapphire, the same Pokemon title that the <coughs> Adventure Red hack is based on. I believe Fire Red and Leaf Green were, were released in 2004, and they are remakes of, uh, of Red and, and Green for the Game Boy Color. Okay, uh, so uh, continuous kick, we'll use this. Go on, attack, continuous kick. We'll take some damage on Piccolo. His guard squared off. Good, yeah, but not as good as I had hoped. We can easily <coughs> retake the lead by using that special beam cannon of his. But 
the, the physical attacks do not take that much damage. It's, it's the special beam cannons and such that are dangerous. Okay. Okay, we will uh, use a stage attack. One attack, three stage attack. See that good. Pickle Scar Shatsu. Shatsu speed down. Still took some damage on Piccolo, but not that much. Offensive face. Let's guard. Pickle's attack. Three stage attack. So this this game is really nice. Uh, uh, sprite animations in the cinematics here. They move. The Pokemon battles of the same system, they don't even move. Only the, the, the like, uh, beams and such have moving animations, not the actual Pokemon. This is really impressive graphically for a Game Boy Color game. Let's use um, Foresight, come fails. Pickles attack, three stage attack. This was a very late Game Boy Color game. So 2002, the final year of Game Boy Color games, and I believe this released pretty late in 2002 as well. Okay. Let's use Shoutsu speed down. Okay. Pickles guard full spirit. Key up. Shoutsu speed down. Okay. Turn change. Attack face. Okay, attack phase again. We need to gather power. Let's go, Han. Let's attack, gather power. Pickles guard moment. Alright, defense phase. Still can't do the best attacks. Let's uh, see here. Uh, Bull master down. Avoiding beam, I think we'll do. Eagle's attack, four stage attack. Go on, guard, avoiding. I fucked up because he didn't do a beam attack. Okay. So, we are leading, but he can use that special beam cannon at any time. We must stare down. Stage attack, let's do that. Fuck, I only did the first one right. The rest were totally fucked up. I do not like the physical attacks, they are difficult to pull off. Okay, let's guard. Piglet's attack, three stage attack. Don't like when I have to press uh, multiple buttons after each other. Fear attacks where they do the attack in its entirety without me having to press any additional buttons. Okay. Let's use Kamamaha. Can't use it, what the fuck? Energy bomb, PoE, let's do that. Once attack, energy bomb. Energy bomb, okay. Will not take that much damage, but it's better than a physical attack. Alright, defense phase. Let's use guard again. Pickle's attack, gather power. Once guard squared off. Alright, he will probably do a special beam cannon very soon. Attack phase. Still can't do this unique attacks. Let's use Bulma's stare down then. Throw. Go on attack, gather power. Pickle's guard, reading key. Reading key accuracy up. Alright, both have energy. 
scattered. Okay. Let's see here, we will damage guard. He, he did a stage attack, that's good. Four stage attack. We'll guard against it, hopefully. Block it a bit. We we'll still get damaged, but not much. Turn change. Attack face. Turn 9. Card left 8. Okay, we still can't do the special attacks. Reading key accuracy up. Let's do that. Go and attack reading key. Pickle guard movement. Reading key accuracy up. Alright. Both have energy. Gathered. Still can't do the special attacks. Sucks. Let's use beam guard. He's doing the special beam cannon, so that was very good that we did the beam guard, but we'll still get damaged. Advanced guard movement. Fuck you, Piccolo. Now he's leading. He will probably win this battle too. This game is very difficult. Especially for a newbie at the low level. Let's use continuous pick. Yeah, okay. Kamehameha throw. Go on attack. Continuous kick. Continued kick, probably. Pickle's guard movement. Come on, go on. Good. He's still leading. Defense face. Okay, let's guard. Go on. Pickle's attack. Gather power. Go on, guard squad off. Alright. Attack face. Card left six. Still can't use the special attacks. Let's gather power. And uh, use um, four stage attack. Control. Once attack, gather power. Pickle's guard squared off. Right, both characters have their, or C fighters have their energy gathered. Can't do the special attack. We'll use Shout Su, speed down. Pickle attack, four stage attack. Physical attack. We have low health, so it's dangerous. Pickle dodged. Counter. We are about to lose. Turn change. Attack face, turn 12. Card left, um, 5. Can't do the special attacks. Sucks. Let's use stage attack, physical attack, or stage attack. Fucking shit, I clicked the wrong button. I suck with the physical attacks. On a Game Boy Color it's easier because you only have two buttons, but uh, on the PlayStation 4 you have four buttons, so it's easier to click the wrong one when you're stressed out. Okay, Let's use beam guard. Special beam cannon we are done for, we lost again. Yeah, we lost. Lose. You lost already, you're too weak. Try again. Actually... I think this is a bit difficult. A bit difficult. I guess we will... Give up for now. Okay, but... Uh, game over. Licensed by Nintendo. Once upon a time, so long ago, no one knows. Mysterious stones came to our world. If seven are collected, a dragon appears. The dragon is able to grant a <coughs> single wish. 
These sacred stones are called Dragon Balls. Boy had one as a keepsake. He met Bull, my girl, searching for the other Dragon Balls. This boy had all sorts of adventures. Boy of limitless energy, his name Goku or Son Goku. He met many people in his travels. Goku grew up and lived happily with it. His wife Chichi and son Gohan or Son Gohan. One day a man who said he was Goku's brother appeared. This man Radit said Goku's real the name was Kakarot. He also said Goku was a Saiyan from Planet Vegeta. Saiyan's work is selling stars. They eliminate any position. Raditz took Gohan hostage. Goku fought for Gohan, but Raditz's power was off the energy scouter. The scouter can read the energy of fighters. You can see the level or number. Okay, so the game 1989 Bird Studio Swish at Way Animation. So the Dragon Ball C animes from 1989. Okay, maybe the games too, but certainly this game is from 2002. Okay, thank you for watching. I gave up. It's too difficult. I might actually try to play on the other emulator with the worst graphics because I have a save there which will al allow me to play as any character and uh, be at maximum level with all the cards. It will be easier but uh, it's still difficult and uh, such. Alright, I would prefer to use this emulator over that one because the graphics are better here and overall quality but Unfortunately, with the Visual Boy Advance emulator, I can't replace this save. See this save. Total 22 times 010, story 1, battle. It's the first battle. I believe when you play as villains or other heroes, you, you jump from battle to battle. You don't have to skip the text. And you don't have to move on the map. <laughs> Instead, you fight battle after battle as anyone you choose. But uh, it... Uh, you, you have uh, with that save you have like all the characters all the cards and such and they are maximum level or at least level 4 out of 5 uh, so it will be easier and more fun when you can play as anyone you like but the graphics are worse if I use the RetroArch emulator which is a uh, like an emulator which can use many different emulators but the, on the Visual Boy Advance it looks the best but unfortunately I, I don't know how to make this emulator read that save file. I tried, but even when deleting this save, it still finds this save, and it refuses to see the other save. Well, the RetroArch emulator found the new save. So, but the, the graphics are clearly worse there. Maybe they look more like on the Game Boy Color on, on that emulator, but here they look better than on the Game Boy Color. Okay, so the Game Boy Color is a handheld system. Uh, with graphics like the, the Nintendo 8-bit and was released I believe in 1998 well the Nintendo 8-bit system is from 1986 so uh, but anyway thank you for watching and this is a RPG Japanese role-playing game with strategy elements in battles where you pick cards and have to think strategically to win it's pretty difficult as you've seen I failed to win any battle as of yet. Okay, and it spans the entire Dragon Ball Z saga from the start. It, it didn't have the battle against Raditz. It's, it's mentioned. And then it starts with Gohan training with Piccolo because Gohan is the main character in this game. You can play as, I believe you unlock the other sea fighters during your first playthrough of the story. And then you can play again with the sea fighters and, and unlock the villains and then you can play with the villains then there are additional modes there is a multiplayer vs mode you can play against a friend if you have two Game Boy colors or two Game Boys you can play it the only difference with using a Game Boy is that it's in black and white uh, and you can still play between a Game Boy color and a Game Boy but the Game Boy has no colors 
OK, and uh, you needed a link cable, and then you could play with a friend. Uh, both of you would need a Game Boy or a Game Boy Color, uh, and then then both of you would need this game and a link cable, and then you could play. So you, you could uh, train your characters, and he could train his characters, or she, and and then then you could fight each other. Uh, it's also possible to play against the computer in battle mode. Where you choose any character you like out of the characters you have unlocked. And then you can fight any battle you want. And in the battle mode, the, the enemy characters controlled by the computer they will continue to come until you are defeated. And you can gain, I believe, uh, cards and, and new unlockable characters by winning there. And uh, I believe, or at least you can get uh, the characters to become better and level up and such. And, and you get new cards. I don't know if you can unlock characters in, in the battle mode. Uh, I believe all the characters are unlocked in the story mode if you fulfill certain conditions. Okay, but you can unlock cards and level up your characters in the battle mode. It's like a survival battle. You fight battle after battle after battle. And the computer player is... Uh, so uh, I believe the computer player is always the same level as the player characters. So you never get to play as v against weak characters. Okay, then you can play the story mode again and again, and uh, you're not supposed to click on new story uh, or new game. Instead, you take continue game, I believe. But when you have finished the game, the, the story mode, uh, at the end of the credit scene, you s see something like end. <coughs> then you, sc uh, uh, you should press the start button. <coughs> the start button and... Uh, yeah. When, when you press the start button, then it will restart. I don't know, but I think the story mode will just be battles when you place other characters. Uh, anyway, thank you for watching. I would have liked to play this game, but it's so difficult that I may not do it. I kind of prefer <coughs> the Dragon Ball Z team training uh, hack for Pokemon, because I think Pokemon is a better role-playing game than this. This is a official Dragon Ball Z game, but it's so difficult. I prefer Pokemon because it's easier. Uh, anyway, see ya in, in, in a different game. Bye.